She joins us tonight right here in the studio. Kate, lovely to have you. Lovely to be here. Thank you for your time. Look, I don't want to talk too much about your transition from man to woman, other than to ask you to just elaborate on the fact that your birth certificate, yeah. you say, will always be male. Yeah, I, look, I'm not one of the... Peter and I have had some interesting chats about this. Peter always very kindly says, I consider you a woman. I don't consider myself a woman. I am not an ideologue about this. I am a transsexual. I'm old school. I'm like Carl Lotta. I'm a tranny. I'm a transsexual. I was born male. I found my life very difficult, very challenging. And at a certain point in my life, it was either live or die. And I chose to live as a woman and transition genders. There is a lot of bollocks being spoken in the, in the academic world these days, not the medical world so much, about fluidity and so on. But my birth certificate, I never changed it. Two reasons. I think it is, it, is to it is to repudiate my parents' decision. They had a son. They were proud of that kid. The doctor did not make a mistake. This nonsense about assigned at birth. I was a, I was a boy. I was obviously a boy and I was uh, very happily as such for a time. And I, never, I, I have never found it necessary mm. to change my birth certificate. I've held every security clearance this government offers. I've worked in the public sector, including quite recently in the Attorney General's department. I didn't need a birth certificate to no, do that. It's interesting, though, that you just felt there was someone else in this body, didn't you? you yeah, said, yeah. If I'm to live on, it will be as the person I feel myself to be. Yeah. Or I would die, and then you, you become Kate McGregor. And anyway, the point I want to make is one point before we, we'll leave that behind. Yeah. Uh, Peter, this lady can play cricket. Oh, I have uh, seen her a, in the news. Hang on, don't you speak, Kate. A very, very fine batsman. Very yeah. fine batsman <laughs> and a wonderful commentator. So one question. Yeah, go on. If you were picked in a women's cricket team, yep. uh, to what extent would you be able to dominate that right. team? Okay. He, last season in Canberra, and you can go on the My Cricket app, I averaged 115 at the age of 63. Now, <laughs> that says there's something wrong That's with it. that system. Now, I oppose elite participation of trans women in sport. I've been very active on Twitter about this. I think the Rachel McKinnon case is a disgrace. Uh, I, and and I, I come across as a hypocrite. I play female cricket, although I predominantly play male cricket. Mm. I play with a, a Pakistani men's team in Canberra, socially. I was offered a chance to play WBBL by Greg Chappell and Pat Howard. They encouraged me. I think there was a certain amount of political correctness. They wanted me to be the poster girl for inclusive cricket. I was never going to say no to that. My ego got the better of me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't good enough in the end to get picked. I wasn't good enough to make that cut. The fact is, over time, with hindsight, and I say this and I look like a hypocrite, I wanted to play WBBL. I think it is bad for female sport for trans women to be in elite levels. Okay, good on you. Community yeah. sport, different story. Me, Everyone okay. should be... Jump in there, though. But Kate, just, just on this whole point, you are an outstanding cricket commentator. Thank yes. you. If you were towing the line yep. on the political correctness of transgender, yep. you'd have a job at the ABC. Uh, that's a good point. I was sacked by the ABC. <laughs> not, not on that issue, though, I no, have no, to but, say. But you I know. This is the point. I know. If you, if you were running the poster child for transgender yeah. stuff that the left want to hear Quite and Quite possibly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, the we're ABC all about diversity it. until someone is as intelligent and outspoken as Kate, well, and then diversity right. goes out the and back I'll door. I'll tell